What's up guys, today we're going to be trying out the demo version of Only Pinball. This is a game and title that I was looking forward to for a long time and I just checked today on Steam. Uh, the demo version is available to play and download and I think there is an early access version too. So if you want to support the developer, uh, you can also have that option. So let's go here. Um, they got two tables here. Let's try out this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, because this is a um, this is the demo, we only have uh, seven minutes. But let's give this a go here. All right. So when I loaded up the game, it said that this game was developed with Unity. Um, and so let's figure out the controls here. Your wish will come true. Oh, this looks awesome. So I'm using the uh, my controller, so it is working. Ball locked. Oh, that's pretty neat, actually. Physics? Okay, so physics uh, so far feel okay. Um, these tables are supposed to resemble like solid states, early solid states from the 80s and 90s. And I think it's doing a good job of that so far. Many points. Because, you know, these tables were not particularly fast. Love that spinner. I love the way it looks too, how you have you can see the uh, alphanumeric display. You got a kickback here. Oh! So right now, it does feel like there is a little bit of like, I don't know what to call it, like a, like um, some kind of delay or input with the physics, but I think for the most part, you know, it's pretty good. And remember, this is a demo. This game is, you know, it's not in its full form yet, so. But I think what we have right now is really nice. Um, the developer of this game was the person who made uh, Mallsby's Pinball Collection. So if you did like those games, I think you're going to like this one because it is a little similar to Mallsby's. Um, the feeling, you know, it's it's kind of similar, but this one definitely has more of like a realistic look, which I think it's going for. Like, this is a table that, you know, looks like a, like a VPX table almost. And so with this... Um, this training mode, you get unlimited, unlimited balls for seven minutes, um, which I think is really cool because the developer, you know, is giving people an opportunity to try out this game and get a good feel for the, you know, the controls, the physics. But everything seems to work. Uh, like I said, I'm using a, a USB controller, so... And there are various options, too, that you have. I'll show you those in a bit. But I like the way the ball looks. Um, I like the way the table... I like the layout. I should have nudged there. And I'm very happy that it's you know, in this state because I was always just like, always checking up, you know, trying to find out about it. And this thing here is cool with that genie lamp moving. Um, and on the on the left, it see, you see like, it looks like they're using the same caps for the bumpers. Okay, there's a nudge. So the nudging is good. Oh, I should have nudged there. So you got you got some drop targets. And I think it's a really good 
representation of what a a solid state from the 80s and 90s would look like. Flippers look like, you, you know, uh, like the old classic Williams flippers, kind of thick. Um, you know, you have extra third flipper. A lot of the solid states had that. Drop targets. Of course, you got spinners. So the thing to remember with these alphanumeric tables and these solid states is that they weren't, you know, too complex like the ones we have today um but they were a little more um you know advanced than the electromechanicals uh their predecessors so there's something for you in the cave oh nice multiplier increase Such a satisfying spinner. And so when you have the the stopper, the drain post here, you want to play into it and just let the ball kind of, uh, you know, land between the stopper. Sometimes you'll forget that you have it up and then you'll flip and you'll act, you can actually drain it even with the stopper. It's kind of similar to like playing with a, a, like a peg in the middle. Let me show you what I mean. So like you, you have the stopper, right? And then you'll flip thinking you don't have it. Like, you know, you'll be like, <laughs> it's hard to do intentionally, but it's possible, you know, cause there's still a gap. I like the kickback. Oh, satisfying spinners. I like the sounds of the mechanics. Oh, that's so cool. You got the lane change up top. And I like this part. I don't think I've done that once yet, but... And so remember, I have infinite balls on this trial mode, this demo. That's pretty cool. I like how it starts like that. Game over. So I got 852,000. So now let me show you um, sort of the options here. You have options, you have, you know, shadows. You have a lot of things, real-time reflections. You can choose the glass, motion blur, orientation mode. Oh, no. Um, flipper setup. Oh, the strength of the flippers. So you, you know, you have audio controls. Um, Anti-lazing. Controls, here are the controls. Language. So, you know, um, let's go to the um, other table here, which is Fire Snake. So it looks like he's gonna add, he's working on a table here, work in progress, but it looks like he's gonna have this many tables here, right? So. 21 tables, three times 18 tables. <laughs> yeah, so let's go, let's try this one here. Yeah, six times three is 18. Okay, let's try Fire Snake. So this is the demo, but you can play uh, the early access version, which will unlock more, um, you know, like your classic three ball, five ball, but this is only the demo. Oh, this one looks beautiful. I like how on the bumpers you have the scales of like a snake. The music sounds good. Ah, whoa. 
Now let me, oh man, this kind of reminds me of uh, William Sorcerer. Now let's see if there's an, okay, here's the other angles, okay? So you have, always gonna have multiple angles to choose from and displays. So, you know, you have your static, dynamic. This one's pretty good. I like this table a lot, actually. Oh, this is awesome. And you can see the little eyes on the bumpers. Oh man, this is cool. I'm looking forward to the full thing. But like I said, I'm really glad the developer decided to release this demo and also, you know, give a early access version to support the developer. This one, I like this one. I mean, this is, the, look at the bumper physics there. This is awesome. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the full version will have the same thing you had in Mall's Beast Pinball, where you have the leaderboards. And so you're gonna see that, right? As people play this game, uh, you know, leaderboard competition. And also check this out. On this table, you do have a drain post. You can see it right here in orange. And so that was very a popular mechanic in the 80s and early 90s. And you even today, some tables, the newer tables from Stern will have that mechanic. But I think it was really popular with this, uh, with the solid states, alphanumeric tables. Just to feel good physics wise. Like I said before, it could be an optimization issue. Um, and it could, even, it could even be on my end, but the physics still feel good for this stage in the game. You know, there's not a lot of delay. The graphics card I am using is a GTX 1060 uh, 3 gigabytes. And I know the developer, I know this is more intensive than Malsby's Pinball was. And, you know, more demanding. But I think it should be playable, um, you know, on most PCs. But I like the I like the lighting a lot on this table. Um, I like the rubbers. The sound effects are pretty good. I like the kick out mechanic too. It looks pretty nice. The slingshots work pretty well. So I would just say overall, a solid release here. Solid demo. It's adding up the bonus there. The ball rolls sound good. The ball itself, the texture looks good as well. And you'll notice that this table is kind of divided, right? On the left, it's like red, and then on the right, it's kind of blue. But I think it really does the, you know, the snake theme well with the scales. You can even see on the spinner, there's like scales. So 
So between the two tables that are available right now, I would say this one, I enjoy this one more. Got lane change. Oh, ah, oh, the bumper, the peg, I mean. So if you want to purchase the actual early access game, it's on sale for like $13, which I think is, it's a little high, you know, for two tables right now, but I think, you know, it's more for supporting the developer. Um, and it's like, I think personally, I think it'll be a good investment because if you enjoyed Mallsby's Pinball Collection, you're going to enjoy this one. So you're directly, you know, supporting the developer. And I think I already have a few friends uh, on Steam who have already bought the the real the early access version. Oh. Um, it's like techno songs and and then the timer ran out lighting is phenomenal in here look at that see how the lighting on the table just like switched off there so I would say you have nothing to lose by trying out the demo version and if you want to support the developer and the game go and get the uh, early access version for $13. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I was really looking forward to this. And like I said, uh, you know, this table, this developer is really solid. You got some rules there. You have all these options to, you know, um, to edit it the way you want, uh, different orientations. So, you know, I think if you can have it on, uh, you know, different orientation, you can play it on cabinets, I believe. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching me play. Um, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.